Welcome back to Rubber City Motoring. Today we're getting into battery testing. So I've seen these before, I've never used one. This is the V-Peak 12 volt battery tester. It's on Amazon, there's a link below. Let's check this out. We're gonna do it on my C5 here, which is kind of a well-known, it is winter, so there's stuff just piling around it. Uh, but it's a well-known car that is known to use up batteries, you know, just basically idling, sitting, just it, it's got a lot of things going on with it. So, you know, and then if you get the wrong battery, it could leak and then it could eat up some wires. So we're going to give this a shot. The battery I'm testing is an Optima. It's about uh, two-ish years old now. And we're going to see what's what here with the V-Peak 12-volt uh, battery tester. So let's get this going. So we're in the car now. As you can see, my Optima here has a little bit different setup, but it does have a top post, which allows me to connect different things. Uh, I have a quick disconnect for a trickle charger. Uh, but, you know, this is your standard LS. It's nothing crazy, standard whatever charging system. I don't have anything extra. So you can see that it's very glossy. Um, that's what we do here is we go to, we're going to start here, which does a battery test and you can pick what type the Optima is AGM spiral. I just Googled what it was. Honestly, I thought it was a gel, but I am not correct. Cold cranking amps. It actually says right on the sticker. It's 800. Do you hit? Okay. It takes not long here, like under. 30 seconds it took the first time. So let's see what it does here. So there's our results. Uh, it says we have 826 cold cranking amps available. I don't know what the 93% is because it did just say 97 right there the last time. Um, but overall, I mean, if you don't want to get into the technical here, it says good battery. So that's good. Now what we can do is we can hit escape. Uh, we have a cranking test, a charging test. And then we have review. So if you want to view what you just did, hit review, and there's that. Let's get into the cranking test, which that one actually has to have me starting the car. Okay, so this one, and all I'm doing here is I have the instructions right with me. Um, I mean, it's a, like one page. It's not that crazy. It says you select cranking test uh, and then start the engine at the same time. So I don't know uh, if I have to run around and do this or what, but let's see what happens here. So if I hit cranking test, it just says start engine. So let's do that. So it's still running, obviously, that's why I'm yelling, but cranking normal shows me how long it took in milliseconds there. Interesting. Okay, next up is charging test, and this is going to be a, a test of like basically load on the system. Let's get this going here, if you can see that. It doesn't transfer well to film, but I hope you can, can see it here. So I hit OK, doing a ripple test, load testing. Now it says increase RPM to 2500 and keep it for 5 seconds. Press OK to continue. results there. Volts loaded, unloaded, the ripple, and then charging high. So there you have it, the V-Peak 12-volt battery tester. Pretty cool little way to just check on things and see how your battery's doing. I know that's a newer battery. I don't really have, I think the HHR in my battery's a little bit older, but I don't really have like a, a, a used-ish one to test. I mean, that one's still two years old and everything read good, so... For all the naysayers that say uh, Corvettes eat batteries every couple of years, that one's that Optima's still holding strong. So uh, check that out. It's around thirty bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link below. But uh, very simple, simple manual, simple product. Doesn't take up much room in the toolbox. And if you're uh, looking for, you know, something gift idea for anybody that's slightly into cars, even if you're not, that's kind of a nice little tester to give you some peace of mind before you buy the battery or you, you don't buy the battery because, you know, this could convince you otherwise. So, all right, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more, and uh, we'll see you next time here at Rubber City Motoring.